everyone, it's Lindsay from Zomer Home and today we are going to tackle these two bins which are on the built-ins in our bookshelf. If you want to see the full house tour, I just posted a thrifted summer house tour that unfortunately not everyone was able to see. Not everyone got notifications for it, so if you missed it, I will link it. But we are going to be reorganizing these two messy craft bins and we are going to be using some supplies that came from Michaels which include this art cart and some other tubs and containers. So today's video is in collaboration with Hope over at Real Life Mama. She does a ton of cleaning and organizational videos and lifestyle videos. So I will link her channel above for you in the cards as well as down in the description box. So you can check out her craft organization after you finish this video. I purchased two sizes of these pink totes and they're really nice. They have a handle for carrying, snap-on lids, and compartments. All of the totes came from Michaels and they were 50% off. And so for the two large ones, I'm storing all of Sayla's paint and brushes and aprons. And the second large tote is going to house all of her Play-Doh supplies. got two more in a smaller size and this first one is going to hold all of Sayla's stamps and ink pads and the second one is going to hold all of her coloring supplies. From Joann's on clearance I purchased this file box and I also got some of this contact paper was in the scrapbooking section and it was half off and I'm just using the decorative paper to kind of dress up the bland file box and this is going to hold Sayla's coloring books and sketch pads. also picked up this really pretty floral photo box from Michaels. I think it was only about $2 and I'm housing all of Sayla's stickers and smaller notebooks in here. I took some really small mini storage containers from the dollar store and I put all of our smaller crafting supplies in them like googly eyes, pom-poms, foam stickers, and then I put all of them into dollar store pencil cases. And then I took the pencil cases and put them into a white basket which I already had around the house that I wasn't using for anything else. add a more decorative element to the storage cart and so I wanted to make a bunting and so I used a piece of foam kind of triangle as my template and I cut out five triangles from this really pretty metallic foil scrapbooking paper. I also whipped up some decorative magnets with some magnets that I already had along with some paper flowers that I used in a previous project which I will link above for you guys. I also created a simple flower arrangement using some faux flowers that I got at Joann's at 60% off spring clearance. I just put them in a gold spray painted mason jar which I had from a baby shower I hosted. So 
now it is time to assemble the cart. So here's the final card. I love all of the pink and the white. I think it is so dainty and pretty. And I love that it is on wheels so I can wheel it out and put it in the closet when I don't want anyone to see it and I can wheel it back out when it is time to play. And when my daughter is older and it doesn't have to be behind closed and locked doors, I can leave it out in her room and it would look so cute and fit in with her bedroom scheme. And if you don't know what Sayla's bedroom looks like, you guys are in luck because I'm going to post an updated room tour next week. So if you guys are not subscribed and have the notification bell turned on, please make sure that you do so down below. And if you enjoyed this video, I would also love it if you gave it a thumbs up so I know to make more organizational videos. So thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you check out Hope's channel and Hope's video when you are done with this one. And I will see you guys next week in my next video. Bye! Thank you.